My name is Sivan Zamir, and I'm the CEO of Noria Water Technologies. At Noria, we're optimizing industrial processes by shining a spotlight on critical industrial surfaces with real-time monitoring and machine learning. Our flagship technology, the RO Spotlight Real-Time Membrane Monitor and Operator Decision Support System, cuts desalination water treatment plant operating costs by up to 30%. We currently have five systems installed in the field with paying customers and are generating SaaS revenue. Due to global water scarcity, it's becoming increasingly critical that we add to the world water portfolio by both using new and reusing existing water sources. One of the most predominant methods of water purification and filtration is called desalination. Now, when I say desalination, I don't only mean seawater desalting, but the desalting of any type of water from organics, salts, particles, and viruses. The main type of desalination, constituting 70% of all desalinated worldwide capacity, is a membrane-based process called reverse osmosis, or RO. RO is the process of taking water, pushing it at very high pressure through pipes called pressure vessels that are filled with membranes. Those membranes then separate out the contaminants from the produced water that's used across applications, anywhere from wastewater reuse, like at the North City Pure Water Facility just here in San Diego, and the Carlsbad desal plant. The RO market is positioned to double over the next several years, reaching $30 billion by 2025. RO isn't a new process. It's been around since the 1950s and was actually developed right here in Southern California. In order to meet rising water demand, however, new technologies such as Noria's are needed to push RO to its maximum capacity. The limitation, however, of membrane-based water treatment is the fact that operators can't actually see the membranes under operating conditions, leaving them to estimate membrane health based on conservative industry guidelines, indirect monitoring methods, and trial and error, resulting in a lot of wasted membranes, energy, chemicals, and water. The membrane, which is the most critical piece of the entire RO process, can cost hundreds to thousands of dollars per piece, and there are hundreds to thousands of membranes in a single plant. These images that you see right here, a clean membrane on the left and a very fouled membrane on the right, are images that were taken by Noria's RO Spotlight technology under real-time operating conditions, information that until today, operators have not had access to. Noria's solution is shining a spotlight on these expensive, sensitive, and hard-to-access membranes with the RO Spotlight Real-Time Membrane Monitor and Operator Decision Support System. The RO Spotlight enables the detection early of contaminants building up on the membrane surface from the deposit of the very first particle and optimizes the entire RO process, cutting OPEX costs by up to 30%. Those OPEX cost savings are realized through a combination of increased membrane lifespan, cutting chemical and energy use, reducing plant downtime and increasing productivity, and optimizing cleaning procedures. The how of the RO Spotlight technology is through a patent pending hardware and software, which together enable the direct visualization of the membrane surface under real-time operating conditions. The hardware is essentially an extension of the entire RO plant with a membrane that's taken from the plant and placed in the RO Spotlight. A side stream of water that passes through the RO Spotlight from the plant is easy to set up and use and requires minimal maintenance. Those images are then sent from the hardware to the web-based software that displays real-time and historical images and data, allows for setting alerts and printing reports. Those images are then analyzed using real-time machine learning and spectral analysis in order to identify the type of contaminants that are building up on the membrane surface. All of that's rolled up into an operator decision support system to provide actionable recommendations to operators about how to most optimally operate their specific plant. That information is very important for operators because it allows them to identify and to treat the underlying cause of issues in the plant in addition to the symptoms. One of Noria's customers is Orange County Water District, a 100 million gallon a day wastewater reuse facility right here in Southern California. While it typically takes one to two years to determine a baseline of chemical dosing, using Noria's technology, they were able to demonstrate a 26% reduction in anti-scalant dosing in just a two-month period. While a typical customer would experience an ROI of 200% within the first year of use, the Noria RO Spotlight demonstrated a $250,000 to $500,000 a year savings for OCWD, which is an ROI of over 400% within the first year of deployment. In terms of market competition, indirect monitoring methods and membrane autopsies are the main methodology of understanding membrane health today 
which results in retrospective, retrospective information and late indications of membrane health decline. Noria is the only technology that can see the membrane surface under operating conditions, identify the type of contaminant building up on the membrane, and offer real-time actionable recommendations to operators. Or, as one of our customers recently put it, the Noria RO Spotlight is going to be the industry standard moving forward of how RO plants are operated. Bringing this technology to market, we have our team of industry experts across the entire technology stack. Noria was initially established in 2014 as a consulting agency, but we quickly realized that our RO customers could be better served by being able to see the membrane surface, and so we went about inventing a system that could do just that. Noria's CTO, Dr. Andy Rihardianto, has over 20 years of experience with advanced water treatment and a number of patents to his name. Dr. Bilal Khan is a data scientist and machine learning expert specifically as applied to industrial processes. And Dr. Yoram Cohen, Noria's technical advisor, is one of the world's foremost renowned experts in the area of desalination, reverse osmosis, and membranes. I myself have a background as a civil engineer and construction manager, most recently having built a sales, business development, and marketing organization for a venture-backed Israeli industrial IoT company. In terms of how our team is bringing the technology to market, we're initially approaching our mar target markets of municipal water and wastewater customers, power plants, and industrial customers here in the United States. In the US alone, we have over 20,000 potential customers and a billion dollars in revenue. Our go-to-market strategy builds on direct sales and working with manufacturer sales reps to working with OEMs across the RO supply chain, namely chemical uh, manufacturers and membrane companies, as well as working with owners, builders, and operators of RO plants. In terms of our traction to date, we brought in $500,000 in revenue in 2019 and have a sales pipeline of just over $4 million that's growing. Our current customers include Orange County Water District, NL Power, the Electric Power Research Institute, Tucson Electric Power, the City of Santa Monica, and our newest customer, Veolia, one of the largest global water providers. We're currently in final contract discussions with several global incumbents that own and operate RO plants and membrane assets across the US and internationally. The way that we work through with these customers is through a software as a service business model with one and three year contract terms where the hardware is included as a part of the software subscription. Our annual recurring revenue is projected to increase through a growing installation base as well as added revenue streams through increased software functionality. We're also adding to our income through consulting with key accounts as well as bringing in grants to fund further product development such as NSF SBIR and CalSeed. To date, we've been self-funded through revenues and a founder loan. And to expand into the rapidly growing RO market, we're raising a seed round of $2 million in the form of convertible note with 6% interest, a 20% discount, and $6.5 million valuation cap. We anticipate raising a Series A of funding mid-2022 for the purposes of expanding into additional geographies, industry verticals, and commercializing a new technology that we have in prototype stage and just submitted the patent on for real-time monitoring of heat transfer surfaces and power plants. To date, the raise is 60% committed, and we're looking for investors to bring the raise to a successful close by April 2020. We believe that Noria has excellent exit potential through acquisition by players throughout the RO supply chain. Those include companies such as Suez, Veolia, DuPont, Evoqua, Danaher, Corita, and LG Chem. We're currently engaged with several of these companies going through technical review, demonstration projects, or vetting by their innovation and investment departments. And last, it's important to note that given the current public health situation, water and other critical infrastructure rely on reverse osmosis as a water treatment process to provide for public health and safety. We anticipate that the RO market is going to grow at higher than projected rates as a result and adopt technologies such as Noria's that can provide high quality water at maximum efficiency while cutting operating costs and allow for RO plants to be monitored remotely, such as what we're doing here today. So with that, thank you very much for your time and I look forward to speaking with you all further. Thank you.